everybody, I'm about to update to the scary new DJI Go 4 app, the new one. As soon as I turned on my iPad, it started updating. Now let's see what it says. It is asking me to sign in. So I shall. All right, let's start everything up here. I haven't done the firmware update yet. I'm just turning everything on after the the app updated. Well, let's see what happens when I hook up the Phantom and do the firmware update. Yeah, all right. Hmm. Let's fast forward just a little bit. Ninety nine. Okay, starting it back up again. Let's see where we are. I think it did it. All right. Everything seems okay, but let's take it out for a quick test flight. All right, here we go. Let's see how high up we can go. One hundred feet. Two hundred feet. Three hundred feet. And four hundred feet. So far, so good. Let's head over to the lake. See if distance is okay. I'm getting a wind velocity warning, but that's not unusual. 600 feet away. One thousand feet away. Fifteen hundred feet away. I'll go to two thousand and bring it back. Okay, 2,000 feet away and all is well. I think the update and everything is good. Let's head back in sport mode. Oh, look at that cloud. I think that probably has rain in it. I better skedaddle back here quickly. Okay, and I'm back. I think all is well with the update. The only difference is that you had to sign in. No big deal. Don't be afraid of the update. I know it's a little off-putting when someone tells you you have to do something, like DJI telling you you have to update or else. That just doesn't sit well with some people, but if you want to fly, it's just one of the things you're going to have to do. Try to get over it and have fun and fly safely. So here I am in my hometown of Huntingdon, Tennessee, and uh, here's the kind of traffic I'm in today. I think they waved me around, so I'm gonna go around. <laughs> oh, gridlock in a small town. 